Hey guys, so I just got home from school and I didn't film this morning because I had a test and I woke up late and I was running extremely like late with what I needed to do so I just didn't have time to film. I just got home. If you have seen my um, video about the Japanese tea ceremony, I mentioned how I was going to go shopping and try and buy this special item. I didn't actually go because it is really raining today and I don't know, I just don't want to get wet with them and it's just more of a hassle if it's raining. So I'm gonna wait until it's a nice sunny day and go do it. But I got home and ta -da! I have two packages and I don't know why I have two but I know what's in this one and I'm not sure what's in this one. So that's exciting. And for those of you that have noticed how my bed is flipped the other way, it is for two reasons. One is I haven't been sleeping properly lately and I find when I like flip around in my bed I have much better sleep so there's a tip. Maybe it'll work for you guys too. And also on this side of my face I have a wisdom tooth trying to destroy my mouth and I like to lay facing out, so out this way and I can't uh, this side of the bed because it is laying on my tooth and it hurts too much so I flipped around for that reason as well. So I have finished making my food and it looks and smells so good. So I have my potatoes with some butter and cheese and some random pasta and then some meat and onion and then over here I have some miso um, eggplant soup and then I have some rose and peach tea and I'm just watching a One Piece episode and then I'm gonna open the box but oh uh, my gosh I'm so hungry so here is the box um, I'm not gonna open the other one in the back there because I already opened them up and it's actually a gift for someone and I know they watch these videos so I'm not going to show it it's their birthday present it finally arrived like four weeks late or something so I'm pretty upset with that but you know there's not much you can do so I opened this one up as well and just pulled out my information in there but here it is Ta -da! so first I just have some textures <laughs> these are just some um, I really love this brand I actually have some back in Australia I think I bought there's like two main brands there's this one the Tom Bauer and they're play colors and then there's another brand and they're slightly different design but they're basically the same like one end is really thin and then one end is like a texture end and I love these pens so much I use them all the time I have like I said like a whole big pencil case back home of them but they're of the other um, brand and they're really old like I've had them since 2008 I believe it was uh, when I first came to Japan I bought them so some of them have dried up and the ends are like destroyed and no longer nice and that and then when I was living here in 2010 I bought a small pack of these this brand I like this brand better because they have the really fine one <clears throat> I'm not sure if the other brand has changed since obviously I bought them in 2008 but they had a, a thicker one they kind of had like a this thickness one and then an even thicker one so I didn't really like them because um, they would smudge a lot more when I was trying to like write with them so when I was living here I bought like a smaller pack I think it was like a 12 pack or something but I thought I would buy a 36 pack while I'm here and take them home because I absolutely love them and they're so pretty. And then this is the main event. Ah, I finally bought my Instax Share SP1. I have been wanting this for a really long time, basically since it was released. But I wasn't sure because obviously I didn't know like if it was battery or cord operated. Turns out it's both in case you're wondering. Like, I had wanted this for so, so long, and I just kept being like, no, no, it's fine, because I have a Polaroid camera, but sometimes um, I forget to take it places, and I take pictures on my phone, and I want to print them off, and I'm doing this journal for school, 
and for my university back home and I'm doing it on shrines and temples as I've mentioned before and uh, every single one I take a photo to put in the book but sometimes like if the conditions of the day haven't been great or like I just can't because I can't zoom in on a Polaroid camera I just take it on my phone so I wanted to get this to be able to like print it Anyway, to cut a long story short, I finally decided I was going to get one <clears throat> if I got over 85% on one of my tests. And obviously, I did get over 85%. Um, and the reason why I used that, no, it was 80%, sorry. Because on Yodobashi Online, I have a lot of points. And this retails for about 170 roughly in Japan. And I have about, well, I had like $100 maybe worth a point so really I would only have to pay like the 70 extra and so I decided if I got 80 that was basically like $10 for every 10% and so I did it that way but then I wound up buying this on Amazon because it's actually a lot cheaper on Amazon so it was like 140 or 150 on Amazon and it was 170 to 180 on Yodobashi and I was like well even though I have the $100 I'm like losing you know $30 so I decided to just buy this from Amazon but then I'm gonna buy some extra Polaroids from Yodabashi because they're cheaper so I decided I'm just gonna use the points on that but I'm really really excited for this and let's see if I can one-handed open it up I don't think I can or oh, maybe so I'm really really happy And here it is. The only thing is, oh, if I can get this, the batteries that, oh, I can't, I can't do this. This is difficult. Here we go. The batteries that um, it uses are these ones down here. They're like, I don't even know what they're called. CR2, I think that's what it says on it. But these are very hard to find in Australia. It's not, like, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen them actually. Like, I'm sure they're somewhere. Now, so I'm either gonna just try and buy some before I leave, like a few extra ones, or you can buy the cord separately. Which is why I didn't wanna buy it here to begin with. Because I was worried that uh, the cord would be the Japanese one, and obviously Australia has different power sockets and that. But you can buy the cord that goes in here to plug it into a power thing. So I'm like, maybe I'll just buy that from Australia, and then it will work in Australia. So here it is, all shiny and new. It doesn't have one of those like peely stickers. It is really light and compact, and obviously. You open up this bit to put the film in like a normal Polaroid camera and then there's a power button and on here it tells you how many prints are left and then the battery there's a little reprint button on the side and then oh I don't think I can do this there we go and here is where you put the batteries and they have a little picture to show you which way to put it that's really cool. I'm going to set it all up and then print a picture and see how it works. Okay, I am setting it up and I just thought I would show you guys my Polaroids because I bought a whole bunch and I'm really excited for them. So I already own three of these and two of them were gifts but I bought a whole bunch more. So I got this stripe one which is really cute. I got a two pack of just plain ones and I'm about to load one of them into the machine. So there's only one left. <laughs> And then I got some shiny star, um, Mickey and Minnie, Vilakuma, the comic one, and I used to not like this, like whenever I saw photos of it online, I really didn't like it, but in the shop they had one printed off and it looked really cool, so the box doesn't do it justice. <laughs> then I got this stained glass, and I think this is a new release because I've never seen it before, it might not be though, so don't quote me on that. I already own this one, it's the little twin stars one, it's really cute. I think I might buy another one of these before I leave. So everyone knows that I really like Alice in Wonderland. And for my birthday, my best friend got me this. And I was really excited. Um, but I didn't want to tell her that I had already bought two packets. Because I was really excited when I found them and I wanted to use them and then have a spare. So then she got me that one, so then I had three packets. And I still hadn't used any of them. And then for Christmas, another friend got me this one. <laughs> so 
So I had four packets. I now obviously only have two. I used the other two. But <laughs> I was really excited. I love Alice. So these are all my ones. I'm hoping to get a couple more before I leave Japan. Like I'm going to get a whole bunch more of the... Um, the plain ones because it's a lot cheaper for me to buy them here and ship them home than it is for me to buy them in Australia Which is really sad, but hey, that's Australia But I thought I would show you how to load them in case you never know and it works exactly the same on a Polaroid camera So you just open up the back and Inside you'll notice this little yellow duty and then if you pull out the packet you'll notice that the Polaroid film has the yellow duty. So it's very simple, you know, you just line it up, line it up, push it in, and push this one in, and you're done. There you go. So then it spits out the protecting bit. And on a Polaroid camera, you would have to print out that bit because it's just the case to protect the photo paper. Anyway, let's turn this guy on. And he goes green, and as you can see, I have 10 films and the battery is 100%. So then if I go over onto my phone, uh, you download this app. I don't know how well it's showing up, so I'm really sorry. And then you select a picture. So I'm gonna print my younger brother. Okay, and you can add filters. Oh, there's a new intelligence filter black and white and sepia but we don't want to filter Done. okay then you go connect and print and searching for a printer okay so I didn't show you but um, you're supposed to go into your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the printer and then you go <laughs> connect to it so blah 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 this is found connect and then you enter the password and one 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 is the default password Okay, and I will change that. <laughs> oh, oh, it's printing. <gasps> it's printing. Oh, it was so fast. I like didn't even have time to like cancel it if I didn't want it. <laughs> printing is complete. Okay. So here it is. It's basically finished developing. I mean, it'll darken a little bit more. Oh, but it is really nice. <gasps> I am so happy. <laughs> My cutie patootie little brother. So I am really happy. And if you are on the fence about whether or not you should buy one of these, always buy it. Trust me. Are you seeing this? It's Twinkies, okay? My friend who is American asked his mother to send me over some so that then I can try it. I'm so excited. For you Americans, it's probably not that exciting, but like, you know, we don't have this kind of stuff in Australia and we only see this in movies, so I'm really excited. And I'm gonna try one. I was about to have a nap and then I remembered about these, so I'm postponing my nap. I'm ready to taste the American. How do you open this? Right, here it is, the famous Twinkie, and it actually looks really scary, Ew, look how like oily it looks, it's kind of gross. So I'm going to open it up and give it a try. Alright, here it is, and I'm sorry if it is really bad view, I'm using my left hand to hold the camera so it's kind of awkward. This really doesn't smell that great, but here we go. Let's try it, the Rocky Mouse. Well, that was kind of disappointing. <laughs> it really doesn't taste like much. Like the outside is like really weird and like kind of dry, and has this weird taste to it. And then the cream, well, I would definitely not class that as cream. It kind of just tastes like like icing sugar. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, BB's always made these look so good, but they're just. Nothing special really. <laughs> I really don't like it. It's so gross. The like cream is really off-putting and there's like a kind of like bitter taste of whatever the hell they've soaked the sponge in. 
Oh, I'm so upset. America, you let me down. You know, I thought these were gonna be like the greatest thing in the world, but the nothingness. But at least I got to try it. I'm really thankful for my friend's mom for sending them as well. I've always wanted to try them and now I can cross that off my bucket list, I guess. Well, I will show you guys how I kind of stay organized. I mean, because like I'm always saying, oh, I have so many tests and everything, and you might be like, oh, well, how do you remember them all on that? So I thought I would show you. So I just have this like 2015 schedule book. Um, I got this when I was in Korea, it was like in a discounted pack because we went like when the new year had already started and it came in some stickers and my that little case that's in my bag if you've seen my what's in my school bag video. If not I will link it down below and yeah so like we'll get to the month we're actually on. So this is the month. I do have a like Filofax as well but lately I just haven't had time to use it. And I kind of like to see my whole month like in one place and this is because it's a four size it fits a lot. So like, as you can see um, all these highlights are tests so we've got tests here, we had two tests on this day which is a Saturday okay it's not very nice. We also have another Saturday class and we have a quiz as well and then I had my like another big exam this week and a presentation, a test, uh, another test, another presentation, so a lot of tests. Usually a week we have the two, these two, but I mean well this week we had four. And this week we had one and a massive one. And then this week we have two and a massive one. So really we have like three tests a week if you look because it's like one, two, three again. So it kind of really sucks. <laughs> uh, so then I have like people's birthdays written in and then for their birthdays I have reminders of when to post their boxes so it will hopefully arrive in time. So there's another one here, it's a poster box but their birthday isn't until... Oh I haven't even written their birthday. Oh I haven't written in the birthdays of this month. But their birthday isn't until the 7th. <laughs> So this one, um, because this is next month, there's just some big reminders. So like I, again, I have the quizzes and that, and the exam and the tests, and it's our last day of class. And then the JLPT, which is on a Sunday. And then I have two quizzes the next day, like, oh. Uh, and then down here, I have, I have a do not forget to book my shuttle buses. One is for Okinawa, and then one is for when I go home. That's depressing and I have like to cancel my phone as well, just some like reminders. And if you notice the YouTube's down the side, it's the days I try and upload for the month. So this month is Sunday and Thursdays, like I probably keep it Sunday and Thursdays but it depends on how busy I am and because on a Sunday I have the JLBT I might change it until a Saturday because as you can see there's nothing big going on on Saturdays. And then I have a reminder of some money that someone owes me. And I do not forget to return my healthcare card. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, which is why it's off to the side. I think I'm going to try and do it before Okinawa, but it might be too busy. So yeah, this is how I stay organized with it, <laughs> like with remembering when I have things. Um, I obviously don't put in like when my homework is due because usually it's due the following day after we get given it. And yeah, and then I have like a big goal down here to finish my my journal for back home. I like have done this to the English. For it, I just need to finish doing the Japanese and that's like the most painstaking bit of it. And then as well as this, I have on my wall here some little goals type thing. And then this is to remember to sign for my gesso. But so the organizing category, this is for my schoolwork. So I've got like, um, study the kanji, study for the big terse and my listening homework. This is for just in general, so I have like film and upload, buy the boxes. I want to visit Uji, um, which is really famous for matcha, and there's some temples for the pilgrimage there, so they're on there as well. And then obviously buy the boxes and then get boxes ready to post next week. And then on here I have my JLPT 
things that I would like to get done. So two of the reading book for a vocab, two kanji and two grammar. And then this is my Japanese journal. So two Japanese pages and three English pages. As you can see, all I've done is the vocab homework. Or that's all I've crossed off at least. So that is how I stay organised. I just thought I would show you guys, it might give you some ideas of how you can be a little bit more on top of it for like maybe school. Hey guys, Shilasan here and I am back to make a different kind of video. It's 